Welcome to the channel, everybody. So it's that time of week again. Time for a crystal opening. So we got quite a bit to work with today. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and right off the bat here, start with the Cavalier Intergalactic Crystals. So we got eight of them so far. Let's go ahead and pop these and see if we get anything worthwhile or if we just add shards to the rest of the opening. Okay, so right off the bat, nothing new, but we did get a six star um, with Winter Soldier there and a five star Hyperion that I'm seeing so far. I do believe that is an awakening. Yeah, like I said, I was pretty sure on that. And Hyperion to 160, that's not bad at all. So that's definitely a help right off the bat here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do as we've been doing. We're going to do the, the Nexuses first and then go back to the whole crystals. Um, just because of the fact that we are doing those featured six stars. But before we do that, let's go ahead and knock out these Thronebreaker Daily Crystals. Uh, no champions this time, all rank up materials. Though 5,000 5 star shards is helpful. Uh, you can see there we are building that large opening on those Prim Crystals. And knock out some just random crystals here and then we'll get into the Nexuses. So, nothing special there. Knew it wasn't going to be. Um, that was just for completing some of the lower level content. A few other just randos down here. Uh, let's knock out the three star crystal. Again, just shards there. Know that there's a very low likelihood of pulling anything new out of those. Uh, three and four stars. Again, nothing new. All max sig. We do have this six star rank up gem that I thought we'd go ahead and save for the opening as well. Just as something a little different. Uh, rank one to rank two on mutant. I'll have to look to see who even that could go for right now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Cavalier uh, Beyond the Mask from the Across the Spider-Verse re uh, release crystals. So four stars the best we're going to do there. Five star spider ham. Okay, we will definitely take some sig levels into him. Uh, four stars the best we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go with Ultron. He would be the number one pick if we were picking between them. Um, five stars the or four stars the best we can do there. But I think the, the new three-star Shocker, it, um, just because I don't have him in the collection, is worth taking. Great way to use some of those uh, Awakening Gems and other things I have in the Overflow, as well as some easy level up points. Let's go ahead and do these Grandmaster Nexuses real quick. Uh, okay, guess we're going Red Goblin there. Oof. Guess we'll go Apocalypse. And for the final one, all three stars again. So let's go ahead and go Shang-Chi. So let's do the Cavalier Nexuses here. Four star Thor Ragnarok. There we go. Six star Nexus Crystal. That I will definitely take. That gives us two of them for this opening. Uh, looks like we're going four star Dormammu. And for our final one. Uh, four star Strife is the best we're going to do there. Though I could have put the SIG levels into uh, spot. I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and go with the uh, better champion there. So we got a few different ones here. Um... In the Mystic category, we are still looking for Ghost Rider, Rentra, and OG Scarlet Witch as six stars. Um, any five star I don't have would be wonderful. Any five star First Awakening would be wonderful. Um, but we are just going to go with the four star Morning Star there. And we saw Ghost Rider, but unfortunately only as a four star. So, do the text here. We. Uh, uh, 
We are looking for Nimrod, Omega, Sentinel, and Star-Lord, but the main one we're looking for is Warlock, who we've been looking for forever, and there he is! Yes, finally knocked him off the list. He has been the one we've been looking for for the longest out of our original batch, and we finally got him, guys. My, I, That in itself is going to make this opening. The only thing that's going to make it better is if we can finally knock Wolverine out as well. But let's go ahead. We got one Mystic and one Tech of the uh, Mythical Crystals here. Okay, we will take that brand new six star Mangog without a problem. He is a great addition to the roster there. It's another brand new champion. Go ahead and check the tech category here. Um, looks like we're going to add some sig levels to Howard the Duck. Um, not the best champion by any means, but definitely not upset whatsoever especially after that warlock and you know those extra seven star shards are always nice um let's go ahead and do the six star nexus crystals um we ideally luke cage captain america infinity war immortal abomination spot hip monkey valkyrie jubilee gat allen soren Ghost Rider, Rintra, Scarlet Witch OG, Nimrod, Omega Sentinel, Star-Lord, or Absorbing Man would be... And, guys, six-star Absorbing Man. Oh, my God. Like, I mean, we could definitely put the SIG levels into Doom, but we were me and my alliance were just talking the other day how much we need somebody with a six-star Absorbing Man in the mix. So, um... I got to go with the Awakening on X-23 here just because of the fact that, I mean, hopefully that's a preview of the fact that that won't be the only Wolverine we see today. Guys, this one is just going phenomenal already. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Grandmaster Crystal here over in the full crystals. Uh, don't expect anything special there, but still worth, you know, opening. I'm going to go over to the Cavalier Crystal. Um, would be great to see another 6-star, but didn't expect to do so. And then I think we're going to go ahead and open the 3-star Relic real quick. Um, absolutely enjoying Relics more and more all the time. And a 3-star Wolverine. So, I mean, it's not the only Wolverine we're going to see today, but still, even with the Awakening on him, which I'm absolutely happy to have, um, still really hoping that we get that six star finally today. We do have four more attempts at him, so let's see how that goes. Um, let's go ahead and pop these four stars real quick, and then we'll get our five stars out of the way, and then we'll do the mythical nexuses and tie this up with the six star featured crystals to see if we can't go ahead and finally add Wolverine to the roster there. Okay, um, SIG levels into Spider uh, Spider Supreme, which is not a bad thing. Three of the five stars, uh, full five stars here. Okay, nothing new. Um, I don't even think anything Awakening, and I don't think anything Max SIG, but definitely getting them all a little higher there. It looks like they were all in about the same range anyways. So a few more six-star shards for next week. So let's go ahead and, like I said, we'll jump down here to the Mythic Nessus. Um, you know, still the same list. Let's see who we can add outside of who we already have. So all five stars there. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and put the levels into Venom. And for the second one, again, all five stars. Captain America Infinity War would definitely be better for the SIG levels. I think that's where we're going to go. We can take the Awakening on Civil Warrior there, but it's just not going to do us any good. Um, Nightcrawler obviously would be great. Not bad, and some more six-star shards again for next week's opening. So let's go ahead and get to the features for this week. Again, this will be another four attempts at Wolverine. 
Um, this will put us at 14 total. So let's see, 15 total. Sorry, I apologize. This will be our 15th attempt at Wolverine for a six, uh, as a six star. Let's go ahead and pop them out. Let's see what we get. Might as well just rip the Band-Aid off and check it right off the bat. No spinning them out. The wheels just torture. We know it. And we got him! Oh my... Yes! Yes! Viv Vision and Wolverine. My God, guys. I told you. I... Yes! This is the opening, guys. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh my god, guys, I hope your guys' openings went even half this good this week. We added Absorbing Man. We added Ma uh, Mangog. We finally knocked out Warlock and Wolverine all in the same week. This is so amazing, guys. Oh my god. I, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get him awakened and leveled up, get him going. We're still going to continue on the feature uh, just for the chance of awakening him and everything else. But this is absolutely amazing. Oh, guys, I can't even begin. Oh. But, guys, this is fabulous. I'm so excited. We finally got him. Finally added him into the roster. That's going to be so great. I've seen so much great gameplay of him as a six-star. I've loved him as a four. Loved him as a five. Loved him as a comic book character. And I'm just so excited. So, I'm again, I hope you guys are doing it just as good. We're going to be continuing the Paragon and Cavalier series this week. We got a lot more stuff coming up here soon. Another Crystal opening next Monday and a live stream on Sunday. So, I hope I can see you guys back for every one of them. And, guys, again, so amazing. But, I will see you guys back for the next one. Peace out.